Hello everyone, welcome to Aditya Proceed the Legal YouTube channel and today uh, I got a received a package from Amazon. This is the Arduino robotic kit from Robo India. So this is how the package looks from outside. So I'm just going to open the package. So with this robotic kit you can make four types of robots. So the first one is line follower robot, second one is obstacle avoiding robot, third is DTM for control robot and fourth is PC laptop control robot. So I'll be making different parts of this video and in each part I'll be making one of the robots. So first we have a USB cable. This is a motor shield for Arduino. This is the Arduino Uno. As you can see. This is the wooden chassis. This. So, jumper wires. A DTMF module to make DTMF robot. A 3.5 mm auxiliary cable. This is a servo motor. You have a, these are some screws. A screwdriver. Again some motor screw. Cast a screw. These are all screws which we get. Some wheels this is rubber wheel an ultrasonic sensor a base module for this uh, ultrasonic sensor these are all the contents that we get with this robo india kit and the buy link of this product is given in the description of my video so you can go and check it if you want to buy it from amazon so with this basic robot construction of the Arduino robot kit, four types of robots can be constructed with this Arduino robotic kit. So first we'll, that means that first we'll make the basic construction and they, then we can attach elements such as if we want to make an obstacle avoiding robot, we have to attach this ultrasonic sensor and other components. So first we are going to make a basic robot assembly of this Arduino robotic kit. Then we can attach elements to make line for a robot if you, and if you want to make obstacle avoiding robot we can attach this ultrasonic sensor so that's how we do it. So, for, so let's get started with the basic assembly of this Arduino robot. So these are all the contents required for the basic assembly of this robotic kit. So first we need a motor screw nut set, caster screw nut set metallic caster wheel battery holder nut screw set arduino screw stud set screwdriver arduino motor shield usb a to b cable this is a wooden chassis motor 6AA battery holder some this is the rubber wheel and the Arduino Uno so first we have to take this wooden chassis and the Arduino screw nut set and we have to place these screws in these four holes over here you can see these four holes so first we are going to do that.
So as you can see over here, I will insert it one screw. So I'm going to take this screw, turn this in back side, and over here I'll place I'll place the next screw like this. Just put it inside the hole. And take another stud and just turn it inside. So we have to do this the same process in these two holes as well. So as we have inserted these screws for the Arduino Uno, then we have to take this motor and this motor screw nut set to, to place the motor correctly so then we have to take we have to attach the motor like this L shape over here and as you can see you have to insert one of the screws and tighten it this is the motor screw nut set which I have done so there is another hole over here so we have to take this motor screw nut set, remove this board, and the hole over here, as you can see, just insert it. And there's a hole on the other side as well. I hope you can see it. Just insert it through there and take this small bolt and tighten it so that's how you insert so as you can see over here there were two holes over here I have inserted the motor screw nut set to this hole which is in the motor and over here there was a hole over here just insert the screw and tighten the bolt so the same thing we have to do over here in this side you can see two holes and there are two holes here you have to correctly match those holes and there are two screws tighten them so that's how you so now I will install both the motors as you can see I showed you that we have to insert it properly so the screws then we have to take the battery holder and the battery holder nut screw set and over here we will be placing the battery holder so let me remove it from the package yes. so place it in such a way that the wires remain in the upper side so here we have the battery holder battery holder screws so first we we'll just rotate it behind and over here we can see holes and just place our battery holder in this manner and match the holes these over here and when attaching the battery holder behind this disease make sure that the wires should be placed up like this it should not be down like this this is the correct way of placing it so I'm going to take the screws insert it through this hole over here you can see a hole insert it through that Take the nut and insert it over here. So we have to do the same on the other side. So as you can see over here, I have installed the battery holder screw inside this is the screw 
and I installed it in here. And actually, the wire should stay up, it should not go down. So, this is the proper way of installation of the battery holder. Now, next, what you have to do is you can see there are three holes over here, and this is a metallic caster wheel. And this is the caster wheel screw nut set. So I'm just going to take the nuts, screws outside. And the caster wheel outside. So here is the caster wheel. So first you can see this there's a red cap. You have to remove this cap. So now we have removed the cap of the caster wheel. And you have to place it like this. I insert the screws. This is the caster wheel screw. And just insert it from here, these holes. Through the caster wheel. So that's how you do it. Just tighten up the screws. As you can see. Now take the nuts and insert it. And you have to take caster wheel and screws and tighten them like this and then take this covering cap and just slide it over just place it inside like this so that's how you so now I have inserted the cover after attaching the screws so now it looks nice and clean so it was that simple but it was really difficult to insert these screws inside so now we are going to install this rubber wheel. First, we will take this out, and as you can see, there's a glue over here and the shape over here. You need to just match both the shapes and insert it properly. So that's how we insert it. So now I have inserted the wheel. You can see it's spinning. So our basic assembly of this kit is nearly going to get over and as I in the part 2 of this video I will be showing you how to make the line falling over. So now we need to attach the audio. So now what I am going to do, I am going to take the Arduino out of the box. This is the box of the Arduino Uno. I just going to remove it and here you have the Arduino Uno. And we have to place it like this on top. And using these screws, we have to mount it. So I'm just going to take the screws outside. Actually, there are four screws, and only three screws are required to mount the Arduino Uno. First, you need to match and insert the screw inside. So, I'm going to do that. So, you have to just match the hole and insert the screw as you can see with the help of a screwdriver. And the other three holes over here as well. I'm going to so now I have attached Arduino Uno as you can see I have tightened all the screws. If you want you can tighten it a little more. Now it's in place as you can see. Then we need to take the Arduino motor shield. I'm just going to take this out. 
and here you have the Arduino motor shield and there is a user manual as well how to use it if you want you can read this so I will just going to remove this and place it on top of the Arduino So I place the motor shield inside as you can see. So now the basic construction of the Arduino robot is ready. Now in my next video I'll make the line follower robot, then I'll make the DTMF robot, then I'll make a PC control robot, then at last I'll make the obstacle avoidance robot. So stay tuned to my channel and if you want to buy this product, you can go down in the links below and buy it. So thanks for watching and please subscribe.